every child is afraid of the dark, the unknown, the nightmare. In Gatlin, Nebraska, that nightmare is in the core. <laughs> We're at Tanner's Orchard north of Peoria with Craig Tanner, the idea man behind the maze. We pick out the, the design that we want and then we hire the guy from Idaho. Uh, he comes and cuts about 90 corn mazes a year all across the U.S. and he'll cut our seven acre maze in about six hours. It looks like he's lost when he's cutting it, but when he's done, this is what it looks like. Okay, and this is your design? This is the design we had this year. Okay, so where do you come up with the ideas for the design? He's got, uh, he's probably got about 80 or 200 different existing designs that he has, and we just kind of choose from them what we want. So you're not the idea man behind this. You just choose one that's already there? And... <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay. How long does it take people to get through something like this? Uh, it takes about half hour to 45 minutes. Okay. Unless you get lost. Unless you get lost. Or it's dark and you don't have a flashlight. What's the longest that anyone's ever spent in a corner? Well, there was a group of four Bradley students that went out went out there about, I don't know, 8.30 or so. And when we closed up at 10 o'clock, we had thought they, they had left. We were fairly busy <laughs> that night. Uh, I got a phone call the next morning. They had been out in the corn maze till about 12.30. <laughs> 1.8 miles in one maze and one and a half okay. miles in the other maze. Now, this is the map? This is the map, yeah. So, so f see, Danielle, there's no problem. We, we can't get lost, see? Okay. Isn't that clear you where you would go? Follow, yeah. I mean, that I've just... I've actually been lost in this before. I mean, like, I couldn't find my way around in that. It's just a bunch, a bunch of squiggly lines, right? It's not that bad. No. In case we get lost, do you have any tips on how to find a way out? Um, <laughs> follow the map. Don't panic. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> I think we should get our own map because Gary has a tendency to stray <laughs> from the group. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stray from the group this time. But that was only at a music festival. A bigger map for Gary. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're we're right. here. Right. Yeah. Go right. Okay. Um. I don't think that was a good idea, Danny. Aren't we in the S right now? No, we're going around in circles. Don't panic. Whatever you do. <laughs> I mean, that's obviously a circle. That's not very clever. So. I just can't wrap my head around this. <laughs> Are we, we're walking on the lines, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm Isn't this fascinating? <laughs> uh, no. I'm completely disoriented right now. <laughs> wow, I never would have found it. No, at the bottom. <laughs> down, down there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Eight? How, there's no way to get to eight. Or well, wait. sure there is. You just have to go up here and then down. Back there, and then went all the way up here. Yeah, because I don't think people are going to jump out. I hope. <laughs> no, just a corn stalk. <laughs> Why am I leading this? I can't read a map very well. I'm not sure where we are. We're here already? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> now I am getting lost. Oh, we're that far already? Yep. I think you should make this a little easier next year. Can you help us out? <laughs> Do you know where you are? We're not yeah. sure where we are. Where, where are you? Right. We're right here. You guys have a lot punch. So you've been everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. How, how, long, how long is it taking you to do this? I don't know. Half an hour, 45 minutes. Really? Yeah. Let's so just far. follow them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the key is to let the kids lead. <laughs> <laughs> I, now I'm confused. I'm not where I thought I was. I thought we were following this. Mm-hmm. Can you help us get out of here now? <laughs> oh, but that, that's easy to do. I could. I think I could find our way Let's out. Do you just do it so in reverse. Let's see if Gary, no help this time. You have to get us out of here. Okay. All right. No problem. <laughs> you think I can't handle this? <laughs> <laughs> Enough down here. 
I trust your judgment. Well, that's a mistake. Yours over mine any day. Look, someone burst through here. <laughs> Let me, see, there's your way out right there. <laughs> ha! Yay! We're out. Good job. Hey, Danielle, you, you blew it out there. You can't read a map. You can't get through a maze. What's going on? It doesn't matter because I have you and you're such a talent at a corn maze. Yeah, I'm just right. so grateful. We, okay, we should, <laughs> yeah, right. We should, we should mention that you can go into Tanner's corn maze uh, daily through October 31st. Right. And while you're out here at Tanner's, you can get donuts and you can get apple, fresh apples and lots of other goodies here. Pet goats. Yes. Yeah, right. Excellent. So, so as far as this weekend on the concert scene, there's a ton of stuff going on. Joe Joe Bonamassa, you right. interviewed him. He's coming Friday. What's right. he like? Well, he, when he was four, year, four years old, B.B. King thought he was the greatest thing he'd ever seen on the guitar. And uh, he plays like Eric Clapton. He's, he's a really great guitar player. Virtuosic. It should be a really wonderful show. Great. Um, Kellen Lutz, do you have any idea no, who No, I have is? no idea who that okay, is. Okay, he plays Emmett in the Twilight Saga. He's coming to sign uh, autographs at the Riverman game on Saturday. And this is going to be huge. This is Twilight. The new movie's coming out in November, and he's here right now signing autographs. But that sounds Chicks exciting. really dig him. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then we also have Joel McHale. He's a comedian coming to the uh, Civic Center Saturday. Course. He's on yeah, E! Television's The Soup, and he's a real funny guy. He's in Community, which is a new show on NBC with Chevy Chase. About community colleges. Yes. All right. And then Daughtry is going to be the big concert this weekend, I think, on Sunday at the Civic Center. American uh, Idol guy. Yeah. Fourth place American Idol winner. But he's still a pretty talented singer, and he's going to perform, perform on Sunday. And then on Wednesday, we have Silver Sun Pickups. This is an L.A. indie band. Kind of sounds like the Smashing Pumpkins. Really cool, heavy guitar playing. But you're really happy they're here. I am. I'm really excited about the show. This is the show I've been most excited about for weeks now. So It may be too hip for Peoria, but so you should go while you have the chance. Yeah, we'll And see. that's what's going on this week. Shoot. Hello. <laughs> Let's not get. Oh, what? Hey, they're pretty cute. I know, aren't they? What are yeah, these they're called? Furry. Do you know the name of these? Are you asking me? What do I look like? A botanist? <laughs> or a. Uh, no, an entomologist. <laughs> an entomologist. 